is up Coyote Clan, it's your boy, and today we're gonna be talking about kickflip nose manual. If anybody's new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button because together we are gonna figure out the never ending journey to getting really sick at skateboarding. So this is an exciting video. The kickflip nose manual to me personally is a really fun trick and this trick is super important. If any of you out there expect to get really good at technical skateboarding, you know, I'm talking kickflip crooks, kickflip front crooks, kickflip nose slides, kickflip nose grinds, maybe even kickflip backside nose blunt, kickflip frontside nose blunt, it all stems from the kickflip nose manual. The kickflip nose manual is so important. If you can kickflip nose manual extremely well and you do it properly and you watch this video, all these other tricks are gonna become super easy for you. So I'm super excited to talk about this trick. All right, so before you learn how to do kickflip nose manual, I would recommend being able to do nose manuals really, really well, obviously, like have that nose manual balance dialed because it's so important. Anytime people flip into any type of manual, they generally skip that step because doing manuals isn't necessarily the funnest thing, but if you get it down and you have a really good kickflip, your life is just gonna be a lot better, okay? Um, this trick leads into a lot of ledge tricks like kickflip crooks, kickflip nose grinds, like I said before, but it's it's one of the first tricks where you flip into that nose and since you're flipping into a nose manual which takes a lot of balance it's kind of hard and kind of frustrating so the one trick that I would say is okay for you to try is a kickflip nose slide um, that might be harder for some people but if you're able to do a kickflip nose slide and you're able to do a good kickflip and a nose manual this trick is gonna be a lot easier for you but it is very important to get this trick down so as always let's check the foot sit oh. All right, so as you saw in that clip with the kickflip nose manual, you wanna ride into the manual pad just like a kickflip, but the one thing that I would say is you wanna put that front foot a little bit higher up towards the bolts, and the reason you wanna do this, well, there's actually two, maybe three reasons that you wanna do this, but it's very important that you get a really quick, fast, precise flip. Whenever you're flipping into manuals, you wanna make sure that your pop has more precision and speed than pop. And there's, there's many reasons going into this, but the big one is that you don't wanna land heavy on that front foot. If you pop the trick really high with a lot of pop and catch it, you're landing with all your weight on your balance foot. You want the, the distance from when you catch the board to when you land to be as small as possible. That's why putting your foot a little bit higher up is gonna make it so you don't pop the trick as hard. And another reason is when you get that quick flick, your foot is already closer to where it needs to be for the balance point. See, if you flick with your foot farther down and you flick out, you have a lot more area to move your foot, but if your foot is right up close to that front bolt, you do a quick little flick, and in the air, your foot moves a few inches forward so you can land in that pocket and get the perfect balance. Now, unlike the kickflip manual, this trick is a little bit harder, and I made a trick tip about kickflip crooks, and this is a similar motion that you have to go through to get this trick, and it's extremely awkward because you're flipping the board with your front foot and you're landing on your front foot. So if you flick and then try to stand on that front foot immediately, you're always gonna stand on the ground. You're not gonna stand on your board. That's because when you flick your foot out, it's ahead of the board. So with the kickflip manual, put your foot a little bit higher, do a quick flick, and you wanna simply hold your foot in the air. You almost wanna freeze your front foot like I don't know, in like anti-gravity mode, and you just wait for the board to flick around and then land into that nose manual. And that goes back to how you wanna set up for this trick. Generally with kickflips, you wanna have your weight equal on your front leg and your back leg. But with the kickflip nose manual, as you're approaching the ledge, you wanna have most of your weight on your front foot. This sets you up so that when you do that quick flick and you hold your foot, that when you come down onto the ground, you're already gonna be leaning on that front foot and when you put your weight on that front foot for whatever reason, it helps poke the kickflip down. And with kickflip nose manuals, you need to get a nice downward poke so that you don't land with both your wheels touching. You wanna come down with that back wheel in the air. So putting most of your weight on your front foot is definitely gonna help you land into the nose manual. Now, there's not much to say about this trick. Like, it really comes down to having a really good kickflip and a really good nose manual. Now, I'm gonna go over your nose manual balance. I talked about this in my how to nose manual video, and with a kickflip nose manual, it's pretty much exactly the same, except for you're throwing a kickflip in front of it. So once you have your foot in the right spot and most of the weight on your front foot, if your kickflip's good enough, the kickflip should poke into place and you should land right above that nose manual. So when you're doing nose manuals, you wanna think of a line coming from your head all the way down to that front foot and 
kind of as a rule of thumb, I like to lean a little bit extra like forward than backwards because if you land into that nose manual, the people that are really good at nose manuals, they fully lean forward. They're not trying to lean back and kind of like finesse it. You want to have all that weight above that front foot. And the cool thing is, is if you lean too far forward and you roll forward, it's really not that bad. You're not going to fall that hard. And it's a lot better to lean like a little bit more towards the front than the back because it's going to help you stabilize that balance. And like I say with all manual tricks, when doing a manual, your entire body wants to be nice and relaxed. The only part of your body that needs to be a little bit stiff is that front leg because when you land on that front leg, if it's too relaxed, you're just gonna bend down and touch your wheels or whatever. So you wanna have that lead leg all around your knee area to be a little bit stiff, but the rest of your body needs to be really relaxed. And an analogy that I use, it's like landing on eggshells. You wanna land with it stiff, but you don't wanna break those eggshells. And that is how you get into that really stable nose manual position. So another thing that I see that goes wrong with any type of manual trick is people think about the kickflip or the trick into it. And then as soon as they go into the manual, they think about the end of the manual pad. And it is super important to slow down how your mind is thinking. And all you need to be thinking about after that kickflip is stabilizing the nose manual. Because as soon as you land into that nose manual, no matter how good you get at skateboarding, there's a, a quick moment where you're super unstable. And that's when you just spread out your legs or spread out your arms and you really need to focus on getting stable. Once you're stable, then you look forward and think, okay, here comes the end of the manual pad. So once again, if you watch my how to nose manual video, I told you that you need to learn how to nollie pop off the end of the ledge. So I'm not gonna really be going over this, but once you stabilize your nose manual and you look to the end of the manual pad, you give yourself a quick little nudge off the ledge and then you land it. One more thing that I wanna cover that some of you might have a problem with is with kickflip manuals, I talked about how sometimes I get ahead of myself and I start to open up my shoulders because whenever you're doing regular manuals, when you have your shoulders slightly open, it helps you stabilize the manual. But with nose manuals, that is not the case. During the entirety of this trick, as you're rolling into the manual pad, as you flick the manual and as you stabilize your balance, you really wanna have your shoulders really square to your feet. You don't wanna open your shoulders at all. You wanna be right above that leg and you want your shoulders parallel with your skateboard. And the only thing looking is your neck. And that's after you stabilize the nose manual. So once again, everybody, I hope you liked this video. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.